hi guys today i'm going to be showing you how to replace the fuel pump strainer on the 2003 to 2007 honda accord this is also known as the fuel filter this video would also cover how to replace the fuel sending unit as well as how to replace the fuel pump itself or the fuel pressure regulator currently i have this weird symptom where you start up very early in the morning and the car starts and dies suddenly and then on second crank it starts as normal usually that's the sign of a clogged fuel filter bad gas water in the tank or a few other things so without further ado let's get this i want to start with swapping out the fuel filter there's no specified interval for replacing your fuel filter however if your fuel pressure reading is out of spec then you definitely need to replace your fuel filter so i'm using the auto best brand and that's the part number so in terms of tools there's a specialized tool for removing the retaining cap for the fuel sending units but i'm going to be using a long extension and a rubber mallet for that screwdrivers phillips screwdriver flat tip screwdriver pry tools especially for disassembling the fuel sending unit the first thing to do is to relieve the pressure in the fuel system so that you don't have fuel coming out under high pressure when you detach the fuel line from the fuel sending unit and to do this we're going to take out the relay for the fuel pump and then start the car the car is going to come on for a bit and then stall you remove this trim piece around the driver kick panel area you're actually after this apologies for the shakes this is the fuel pump relay right that's it fuel pressure is relieved replace the relay and then we remove the negative battery terminal so the fuel sending unit on the seventh generation accord is located in the trunk so you simply just lift this it's held by these three phillips head screws so remove the three screws then this cover comes off this is quite dusty and now is probably a good time to vacuum this out so next thing is to remove the electrical connector to the fuel pump assembly and that you depress this clip here or this tab and pull that up we want to take out the fuel line i know we've already relieved the pressure but all the same there might still be some fuel left in the line so put a shop rag there and then depress these two clips <sighs> it twist so and that's out so usually you want to inspect that o-ring still looks good if it's cracked or anything then you need to replace it good practice I'll go ahead to plug the line so you don't have contaminants going in there next there's a specialized tool for removing this retaining ring but i'm just going to use this and tap on these ridges so that's out as you can see this is facing forward so always take note of the orientation of this outlet to your fuel line pull this a bit and that comes loose so there's a rubber seal just to make sure we don't drop that in the tank now another thing to take note of is as you're bringing this out the gauge and i'm going to show you so that's it right here so this is what controls your fuel tank levels and you want to tilt this so that you don't damage that part so that's it and the flutter is out you're good while you work on the fuel sending units good to just cover this piece while you're at it inspect this seal just to ensure there are no cracks and so on if they are you want to replace so right now we turn our attention to the fuel sending unit to get to the filter we're going to remove this outer casing first thing you want to do is to remove this electrical connector to the gauge for the fuel pump you have this one then I'll use one of these pry tools here so with those out you want to start pushing down on this outer casing 
a bit of wiggling just continue and it comes free so that's the fuel filter but before we get to that let's see how dirty this is that's a lot of sediment this is what has clogged up that filter so again gas stations right so on the, these are underground tanks some of it is like this looks like rust so that's definitely rust I'm going to give this a good wash if you are changing your fuel pressure regulator this is the fuel pressure regulator here this is the retaining clip you use a screwdriver here pry this out depress this tab so you see that comes out already but I'm not replacing my fuel pressure regulator this retaining clip pry that off you just need to gently pry this I'm just going to add some engine cleaner I want to see how dirty this is already you can see the amount of dirt coming out from this so again guys oh my gosh there's no recommended interval for cleaning out your fuel filter or changing it but obviously this tells a lot so just look at that if I were replacing the fuel, just the fuel pump itself, in here, that's a retaining tab, you depress that. There's a retaining tab there as well, you depress that and then pull out the fuel pump this way. So for cleaning this off, I'm just going to add a bit of gasoline. Then I'll use this paint brush. You can see how dirty that is. Now, we replace this came with a rubber cap so just to seal off contaminants you discard that so you want to align this hole with with that and then to be sure you're well aligned and then push down i'm just going to use this needle nose flyer to push this down that's gone in so this came with a new retaining clip just press this down so that looks good you put this back so you want to push down from here because this has the spring thing so you ensure these lock in place replace the electrical connector to the fuel pump replace the connector for the fuel gauge introduce this back recommendation is to fit the sleeve on the hole first that's fit now because we reorient this then that goes in it's going to tap it gently then it's important to ensure that this is well aligned so that you don't get any codes for large leaks or small leaks um, I think that's in pretty good now. Do you replace the fuel line? Simply push this back. Plug goes back in. The fancy cover goes on. So that's it. Thank you very much. If this has been helpful, do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, it really helps, and catch you on the next one. Cheers. Don't forget to replace the battery terminal.